The housing market in East Texas and most of the country has been red hot this last year. All those people who realized they needed a home office or wanted to move out to the country drove prices skyward. And one local economist thinks that will continue for the rest of 2021. So let's talk to him, Dr. Manuel Reyes from UT Tyler. Good morning and thanks for being with us today. Hi, David. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. Good morning. You wrote recently that low mortgage rates help fuel the surge in home buying. Is there any indication that rates will either stay where they are or rise up again in the near future? Well, the Federal Reserve Bank has announced that they are intending to keep these, the mortgage rates very low at least till 2023. So uh, for now, for some many months, we believe that it's, that's going to be the case. So what are some of the factors that will determine if this boom continues or if the market will regress toward something more like normal? Well, uh, there's four main factors. One is mortgage interest rates. And we know that the Federal Reserve Bank, which uh, for simplicity, there's a, lo a lot of, 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 of uh, factors in, in people involved, but we can say that the Federal Reserve Bank is to set up the interest rates uh, that the commercial banks are going to be using to set up your mortgage rate. So if they intend to keep the mortgage rates low, low like they are right now, uh, about 3%, uh, we, we will uh, think that it's going to be like this for the next probably couple of years. Uh, another important factor is, is new construction. At some point, construction was uh, slowed with the pandemic. Uh, uh, during many months where, where this, this new construction was not as, as uh, uh, it was intended before the pandemic, and although now it's recovering, it takes several months, uh, people say between eight and nine months to have a new house ready. Uh, another factor is, is the jobs. The, the how is, are we doing on the economic recovery? How are the unemployed doing in terms of finding a, a new job so be hired by their, their old employer? And the fourth factor is, is uh, the housing foreclosures. If there's a lot of people who are going to fall in foreclosure due to the lack of employment, that could uh, bring a large number of new homes into the market and make the prices to drop. So uh, right now we have about three percent. Well, the, the curse tag was important on, on, on very important in sustaining the economy. Since there was a lot of people falling in, 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 in foreclosing conditions uh, because they lost their jobs for several months, uh, they applied to the forbearance program by the federal government, which allows you to stop your mortgage payments for 180 days or you can renew for another 180 days that's one year and recently there's another a, a subsection of the same act that you where uh, you can uh, keep postponing the uh, mortgage payments for another six months in, in two three month increments so this for, forbearance program is helping people to get back in track. At the end of the day, the housing market, it's like any other market, is cyclical. So it, we're going to have ups and downs. But what we don't have, want is a sudden drop. And that could be uh, made by a sudden an overflow of houses, of people who were not able to pay uh, their mortgage payments and need to go on foreclosure. So that's what we don't want. You also wrote that the Tyler housing market specifically is usually better than the national average and should continue to be. So what are some of the reasons that lead you to say that? Okay, on, 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 on one hand, the Tyler's economic structure is strong and a, we were able 
to have uh, uh, the pandemic effects mitigated because we have a uh, strong industries that support the, the local economy, such as healthcare, grocery stores, banking, and others, education. So we're a, a, a strong economy that was not as severely hit as other cities in the state of the nation. On the other hand, the housing market was strong even before the pandemic. There, there, it was, Tyler was a, a hot market, how hot housing market before the pandemic, before the interest rates were low, were low, and before any of these conditions appear, see, because it's a great place to be. So we were experiencing that uh, inflow, the, that number of, of buyers even before that. So that's why if anything happens at the national level, such as a, a, a sudden change and a house uh, market, market to crash, I think the, the tighter uh, housing market is, I don't wanna say chilled, but it's going to be strong enough to hold and whatever happens in the nation is not going to be as severe as it could be in Thailand. I am hoping that we just go at the national level, we just hope to a correction of the market, which means basically go from seller's market to a balanced market and to a buyer's market just uh, uh, easy. Dr. Reyes, thank you for the time today. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for your time.